Hello, my name is Sami Uld Ahmed. I am a senior application engineer here at Nexperia Manchester. I am part of the PowerMOS division, and today we'll be talking about a high current three phase brushless DC motor application. Power electronics engineers are often presented with new, smaller package devices. And although smaller is better in many ways, there tend to be reluctance in embracing such devices because of the thermal performance concern, particularly in high power demands. In today's session, we'll be looking at Nexperia's LFPAC 8x8, demonstrating its ability in both high current and thermal performance to replace the bigger package, the D2PAC, the D2PAC 7 and the tall, in this high current three-phase brushless DC motor application. What we have here is a 10 kilowatt brushless DC motor made up by two 5 kilowatt motors. We're using one of them to be a generator attached to a rectifier attached to a load, giving us the high current required. We have a control board, which is a generic off-the-shelf control board, driving the power MOSFET board. We have a capacitor bank providing the instant current required in support of the high current application. The power MOSFET board contains six LFPAC 88 configured in a three-phase process DC motor application, that is three half bridge configuration. In support of showing the performance we have an oscilloscope with a current probe attached to one of the phases to the motor will be showing the current. We also have a thermal camera pointing to the LFPAC 88 showing the thermal performance. Along that a high power power supply supporting the sourcing the power needed to drive this demo. Without further ado, we get the demo in action. So we enable it. As the motor is spinning, we're increasing the current to near enough 200 amps, as it can be in the scope. This is going through one phase, and it's replicated in other two phases. It is a block commutation, trapezoidal waveform. As could be seen, the current has reached 150 amp desired, although it could have gone further. The temperature stabilized around 100 degrees. To put things in perspective, to show what was needed to cater for such high current is these thick cables and the high power resistance, while all this high current is being made to go through this little device, the LFPAC 88. So what we've what we've seen today is the demo containing 640 volt LFPAC 88 configured in a three half bridge driving the three phase Bosch's DC motor. The LFPAC 88 comes in 40 volt with RDS on as low as 0.7 milliohm. They are available in both industrial grade as well as automotive AEC qualified Q101. The LFPAC 88 provides a market leading power density when compared to its bigger package, the D2PAC alternative, offering an RDS on down to 0.7 milliohm released and a 60% space saving 8x8 footprint. The current rating in this demo, as we've shown today, is 150 amps. However, the LFPAC 88 product has been tried and tested and proven to be capable of 425 amps, as cited in our datasheet. As it is part of Nexperia LFPAC family, the LFPAC 88 offers superior electrical and thermal performance. The use of its clip bond technology instead of bond wire not only allows for high current, it also provides a very high or very effective thermal path to help get the heat out of the package. It offers high robustness due to exposed leads, leading to optimum board level reliability regardless of PCB material. Devices are often designed onto a circuit board fitted onto a motor where they're subject to shock, vibration and extreme temperature ranges. And a proven technology reliability. With almost 20 years experience in the high rolling production of copper clip technology, meeting the reliability demands of automotive industry and exceeding key EAC Q101 tests by up to two times. Thank you for watching. For extra resources, data sheets and any supporting documents and models, please check out our website.